Constructive criticism sucks. I've been told my whole life that constructive criticism is a necessary part of the process of getting better at things. And over time, I've come to agree. I'll be honest though, I hate it. When I want to make something, I want to make what I want to make. When I want to do something, I want to do what I want to do, and I want all my ideas to be my own. But over time, I've come to realize that constructive criticism really is a valuable, important part of the process of getting better at things. So today, I wanted to share a couple of ways that I've used in my own personal life to make it easier to get and receive constructive criticism. I know this one might seem a little simple, but I really do think it's important. It took me a long time to understand that getting constructive criticism is an important part of the process of getting better at things. No matter what you're doing, allowing other people to look at your work and tell you what you can do better is invaluable. You're going to see your improvement skyrocket whenever you listen to other people because they're able to pinpoint things and understand and see things that you're not going to see. Like last week on my video, I worked on that video for hours. It took me a long time to record it because I kept messing up. It took me a while to edit it. And people still saw things that I didn't see. And they told me, and now I'm able to see those things a lot easier. And I'm going to be able to make better videos in the future. So no matter what you're doing, ask other people what you can do better. When taking constructive criticism, it's really important to have a circle of people around you that care about you and respect you. I think about back when I was in college and I would have to show projects I was working on, so videos or papers or whatever to the class, and there would be people that I didn't really like that would give really good advice to me, and I would never want to take it because I didn't want their fingerprint on my project. And so now that I'm out of school, I've tried to surround myself with people that I care about and people that I respect so I can go to them for criticism and I can go to them for advice and that makes it a lot easier. Getting advice from people that you care about and respect makes it so much easier to listen and made me so much more willing to take that advice to heart and figure out a way to make that change or make that fix. One thing I used to really hate about constructive criticism was the overwhelming amount of changes I felt like I had to make to every project. I had to try to find a way to fit every person's piece of advice, every person's criticism, every little thing that someone said, I had to find a way to resolve it. And honestly, I made a lot of projects worse because of that. Eventually though, I realized I don't have to take every piece of criticism, every piece of advice that people give me. I can pick and choose and that's okay. I understand the vision of the project. I understand what I'm trying to do so I can make those choices and I can decide what's going on. And you can do the same thing, even, no matter what it is. If you're trying to get better at your job and people give you advice, there's sometimes they're gonna give you advice that's not good and so don't take it. But sometimes they're gonna give you advice that's really good and take that advice and use it. So don't, ha don't feel like you have to use every piece of advice that someone gives you. You can pick and choose and that's perfectly fine. I hope this video helps you guys. If you're like me and you hate getting criticism, then use these three steps. These three simple steps have really helped me a lot in becoming a better creative and becoming better at things that anything that I want to get better at. So use these three steps, take them to heart. It's going to take time. It's not going to happen overnight, but I promise you that getting constructive criticism will become a lot easier. Thank you guys for all the support last week and for everyone that reached out with kind words. It was really nice talking to you guys and talking about what I can do better. And so I'm really excited to keep bringing you some videos. I got some cool ideas coming up. So thanks and I'll see you next week.